let me introduce the EO months formula which will be crucial if you have a date and you want to get the last day of the month or the previous one and we're gonna do the same for working days but for this we need a secret ingredient so let's go let's start our warm-up with a date and I want the last day of the same month so the date is 24 October 2023 if we go down this is the 31st of October how to get this well, I'm going to introduce a new friend, a formula. This formula is called end of months. So EO months, open parenthesis. You have a start date, which is our date, comma, number of months. It is the same month, so I'm going to put zero and close parenthesis, press enter, and you get your date. Let's do the same for last month. Equal EO months, open parenthesis. This is my start date, comma, number of months. Last month is one month prior which means minus one. If you had, for example, three months prior, it's minus three. And if you go forward, two months forward, it's plus two and so on. You got the idea. Close parenthesis, press enter, 30th of September. This is the calendar. Last day of September is 30th. Now let's complicate things now. I want working days. Now I want the last working day of the previous months. And with working days, you have complications. The first one is the weekend, obviously. And the second one is you have holidays and the holidays, they keep on changing every year. So what to do in this case? I'm going to use two formulas. Let's start with the one that we know. Equal EO months, open parenthesis. This is my start date, comma, number of months. It is the previous month. So minus one, close parenthesis. You get the same thing, 30th of September. Now the trick is to start at the 1st of October. So I need to add one day to my date. And in Excel, days are numbers. So one day is plus one, one day prior is minus one, two days forward is plus two and so on. Let me show you. So for example, if I do this plus one, I get the 1st of October. If I do plus two, I get the 2nd of October and so on. So now let's just remove this formula and apply it here. So I have my whole formula which is the 30th of September, and outside the formula, I'm going to add plus one. You have one October. Now, the trick is to use a formula called Workday. This formula will take working days into account. Let's look at it. So Workday, open parenthesis. You have a start date, which is all this. All this, we saw it, is the 1st of October. Comma. Days is actually working days. So for example, if I want to go one working day forward, it's plus one. In my case, I want the previous working day. So minus one. Come here. You have holidays. Holidays is an optional parameter. Why? Well, you have those brackets around it. So if you have no holiday, you just close the parentheses and that's it. In my case, I select my holidays. So those two cells close parentheses, press enter, and you get the 28th of September. How did this happen? Let me explain to you. Here, in this formula, by default, the weekend is Saturday, Sunday. If you have a different weekend, stay patient. I'm going to show you how to do this. But for now, if we start at the 1st of October and we go one day back, you have the 30th of September, which is a Saturday. Saturday is a weekend. So I have to go one day back. 29 September is a Friday. However, bad luck, this is a holiday. So I go one day back and I get 28th of September. It's not a weekend. It's not a holiday. This is your answer. Let's do the same. But now the weekend is Monday, Tuesday. So let me show you. We start with the same formula. EO months, open parenthesis, start date, comma, minus one for the months. And we add plus one to go to the 1st of October. Now, instead of using Workday, there is another version, which is Workday International. So Workday international you can see it here dot intl double click you get it it has a start date that's our start date which is the first of october comma number of days same minus one comma and here you have an optional parameter which is the weekend what do we do if we don't select anything we just close parentheses or we just skip it like this and select our holidays what happens it will take saturday sunday as a default but if we want something we can just go back, put a comma, and see the weekend options. Here you have Monday, Tuesday as option number three. So 
So I double click on it and I have option three. And then you have the holidays. Press enter 30th of September. What happened? Well, we start at the 1st of October. Go one day prior, you get the 30th. But now this Saturday is not a weekend anymore because our weekend is actually Monday, Tuesday. So it's a working day. This is why you get the answer as 30th of September. Now let's do the same, but the last working day of the same month. You will see it's the same technique. So EO months, open parenthesis. The start date is this one, comma, number of months. It is the same month, we put a zero. There we had minus one. Let's add plus one. Now we have the 1st of November and we're going to use workday. So workday, open parenthesis. This is my start date. Number of days minus one. You know the drill. Comma, this is my holiday list. Close parenthesis, press enter. 30th of October, we go down. 1st of November, we go one day prior. 31st of October, it's a holiday. You go one day prior and you get the 30th of October.